Okay, so it's finishing time. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to make sure I mouse, mask, mask, mask off the. I want to mask off the neck and the, uh, at the very least, mask off the fretboard here and uh, mask off the headstock plate because I'm not going to put a finish on those. Um, I always get stuck on whether or not I want to put a finish on the side of the fretboard. And the last guitar I did, my first acoustic, the last one, I did not finish the sides, and but I didn't tape it very well. I didn't mask it very well. So this time I'm going to mask it better. I think I will not put a finish on the side and just make sure that it's well masked. And uh, this will keep the lacquer off the off the sides which when only so the reason I didn't like it the last time was the fretboard was ebony and I'd only masked off part of it so you could see very clearly a shiny bit of ebony and a dull bit of ebony and then a shiny bit of it was just like this you could see the line and the ridge and it just bothers me I haven't fixed it yet but it has bothered me since I did it but so what I will do in this case is I will be more careful to mask off exactly what I want masked and try not to knock the dang thing over because I keep giving myself a mini heart attack every time I tilt it like that Okay. so that gives me somewhere to go and then this side I'll do the same alright this isn't going to be very photogenic on this side but you just saw what the one side was, so hopefully you're okay with not seeing every single inch of tape going down, because that would be tedious and boring, right? 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 Alright. This doesn't take too long anyway. I'm just masking the rosewood part, the fretboard bit. It's not quite there. Maybe there's it there. There we go. Just until the dark line disappears. And then I'll take you out to the spray booth. Yeah. Okay. Now I can be a little less tenuous and Chicken. Chicken is what it comes down to. Oh, we also want to fill this. I forgot about that. I was going to get some balloons. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's contemplate that as well while I'm at it. I'm going to go grab some balloons at the store, I think. Okay, more tape. And I know I complained a bit about blue tape earlier. My intent, my hope, my strong hope is that I do not leave this on for months. So I'm going to go ahead and do this with the blue tape, even though I know I complained about the blue tape before. But this time it's different. I should not leave it here for months. I think I'm going to tilt sideways to do the wrap around on this. And just Stick it to the green stuff. Enough to uh, fold it on over. I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> that was a good one. Okay. There we go. Let's fold it over now. this side. I don't want to get any lacquer on this and I like the, fo the the polish of that rosewood so on the headstock plate I'm not going to do any there either. I just want them to match the fretboard which is maybe not exactly what everybody would do but 
I like the look, so I'm going to go for it, and we'll see. If I don't like it, I can always spot spray lacquer onto the headstock plate if I have to. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to like how it is. Okay, back to the side we go. Do that. Do this side. Like so. Try to form that crease. There we are. Okay, and then that should be enough for there. Now we just take a little more on this. I'm going to go outside edges first. Then I'll stick them down the center of this inner. Then I can come back later and trim that all out. This really shouldn't be on here for too long. I'm really going to have some movement going here. Okay, so now we can flip it back over. And we need a knife and a backing plate. Uh, this will do. This will do just fine. And then, so if I put that there, I'm actually going to put a clamp on it so I don't have to hold it with my hands. So we'll take one of these. And we'll do, we'll do two of those. I'll just move them around as I need to. Yeah, that's good. I might stick one there. But I'm going to go get a knife and I'll bring you right back. There we go. We'll give you at least a little bit of a view. Let's take exacto knife. So I just cut a little tiny bit of hole in the tape at one of the peg heads. We now have washer and all of that stuff that will go in. And then we flip it over. Well, we'll do it about right here so I can thread this guy on. I'm pretty okay with everything here. Like so. I'm going to tighten that just a little bit. I don't want it super tight, but a little snug is not going to be a problem. I just need to find the dang wrench that will do this job. I just don't want it spinning because I don't want to mar the wood any more than I have to. So yeah, that's, that isn't going anywhere. I'm going to actually angle this a little so that the, so that the loop I'm using is... Uh, advantageous right there probably close to about right there I'd say and uh, we are ready whether I like it or not to uh, put a finish on this guy eh? that's pretty cool stuff I will say okay. so this will hang and we can start spraying well monumental day Time for this to happen. Let's take a real quick glance at everything, get it, make sure we're completely ready. I'm gonna give this a wipe down with a lint-free uh, microfiber cloth. And just get all this dust as much as I can off of it here. And just give it a nice cleaning. And, uh, oh yeah, we need to get a balloon. I forgot. See, I quickly forget things. Um, we're gonna go pick up some balloons, balloons, and uh, we'll get this guy hung up on the. We'll get this. Uh, we'll start getting ready to put the finish on this thing. Just get the, 
the finishing tent set up and all that stuff. Pretty dang cool, monumental. Yeah, we're getting a finish on this guitar, finally. Finally, right? Finally. All right, here we go. I'll bring you back when I'm ready. So I have a brilliant wife who decided I didn't have to go buy balloons. I use the nitro glove. So we're going to give this a shot. I think it'll work. Got a rubber band. And I've got one of those um, uh, sporting goods, you know, basketball inflation needle things for the air, uh, for the air hose. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to wrap the glove around it. And then I'm going to wrap a rubber band around that. So I figure I can blow it up with that. And then hopefully I'll have the rubber band tight enough to uh, keep it sealed. And I can pull the needle out and have a good enough seal to, uh, so I'm just wrapping this with the rubber band as much as I possibly can here. Get as many turns on it as possible. The trouble is that the stupid curled over wristband of the, of the glove kind of gets in the way, but we're working with it. We're working with it here. Come on now. You can do another one. We can get one more, I think. I think we can do one more. We'll try one more here. Yep. Yeah, we got one more. That's enough, I think. That should should keep it well sealed. Let me try for one more wrap. Let's see if we can get one last good wrap around on that. No, we're not going to go for another one. We'll snap the rubber band. Okay. So there. Now we've got our our bladder, so to speak, and then we can take our air gun here, slide this in, thread it on nice. It's going to be a little leaky because the nozzle is designed to leak a little bit, but we'll untwist it and we'll just blow up a little. We have a little bit of air here. See, that's just going to blow right up. And it holds air pretty good, so before it gets too full, I'm going to slide it in and we'll uh, inflate. Go very slowly. That's probably enough. Pull the needle out. No, it's not quite enough, I don't think. There we go. Now we can pull the needle out and we're good. Seems pretty good, eh? I think that's going to do the job I need it to do. Brilliant, huh? I don't know. I think it's pretty good. One, one sealed off, uh, <laughs> one sealed off little uh, zone. Don't think that's going anywhere. Should be all right. I don't have a lot of pressure in there. I can still move it around if I have to. So I can keep it pretty safe. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. I'm gonna slide it so that the the nipple is elsewhere, and then it's just a flat zone. Hey, that's a great idea. There we go. Ah, it's a resonator. Check it out. It's only for playing blues music. Same with the fretboard. Hurt, hurt, hurt. He thinks he's funny. He is not. All right, there is no more goofing around. We have reached the point where, well, there will be plenty of goofing around. I'll tell you that right now. But we have reached that point where we can take it out and. Uh, it's been prepared. It's ready for sanding sealer. I think we are ready. Yeah, everything is clean. Check for any dust in good. Gave it a blowing. I'm done stalling at this point. We are ready to uh, hang this beggar. I got my hook on here already, so we're ready to do it. Let's, uh, let's get ready to put some finish on this thing. Welcome back to the shed. <laughs> um, we're in the shed. We're going to start putting up the finishing tent. Um, it's going to be just music and a fast forward type of thing because it's just a bunch of PVC pipes that I'm putting together with some sheets of plastic. Um, and I have to work out an opening and a vent and all sorts of stuff. I'll talk a little more about it later when I get the main structure together. But first, let's get together a structure and then I'll, I'll bring you back.
okay, so this is gonna be some really terrible footage, I'm afraid, because, well, you can't see through this semi-clear plastic, and I can't bring you inside because it'll be messy. And I don't have a good enough lens on the camera to do like a fisheye sort of small field of, or narrow, I don't know. I don't have the lensing and I don't have, I'm not bringing you in with the lacquer, so I'm afraid you're stuck looking through the transparent sort of thing. Hopefully when the fans come on, the plastic will smooth out a little bit and you'll see a little less glare, but I can't promise anything. I'll look at that footage in a bit. Um, but right now, in the gun, we have a bit of oh, sanding sealer, lacquer sanding sealer that I'm going to put on first. Hopefully only one coat. Um, I've got a little more mixed up over there if I need it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to uh, seal up the, seal myself into the tent for a bit and get to spraying. Um, it's going to take a little doing because it's kind of cramped quarters, but I'm okay with the amount of space I've got. I just need to work within a little bit of limited range so I can get the bottom of it sprayed well while I, you know, still can. Um, so I'm just going to throw on the respirator, kick on the fans to send the exhaust out that away, and uh, I'm just going to get after it. So here we go. We're putting finish on this damn guitar finally, hey? That's pretty cool, right? So guitar's hanging in there, and uh, we're just going to get after it. All right, some pretty music for you. overnight the sanding sealer is well and truly dried I think we're going to take it into the shop and do the sanding they want to the instructions say sand at 320 and it's just the lighting's not great enough in there for me to do a good sanding so I'm going to take it off the hook and bring it into the shop here real quick also going to get my very first look at it from the sanding sealer perspective I think we're good there's a little bit of that looks like tape residue from the masking on the, uh, on the heel block of the neck. So okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, I lost. I'm gonna lose you for audio anyway. So I'm gonna jump in, take this into the shop real quick. All right, we're back in the shop now. We're gonna do a quick little scuff sand according to the instructions. The inflated glove is working quite well. Uh, I like that. Um, everything looks good. I have no runs, which I was surprised because I kind of got a little heavy on some of it in a few areas. The only area that I'm a little bit troubled, and I'm not even sure if it's troubled is the right word, but I'm a little bothered by is down here in this area, I can see faint hints of tape residue here. I didn't get that sanded very well. Everywhere else it looks fine. Um, and the walnut's looking really good. It's going to keep getting better and better looking, I think. It's going to continue to look good. I have very few nibs to speak of, which is also quite good. Um, it's just a little rough is all. It doesn't even feel like nibs. It just feels a little bit rough. So we're just going to go ahead and get after sanding this down, and I'll see what I can do about this tape residue down here. But... I think we're in good shape to uh, sand it real quick and put on our first coat of actual lacquer. So uh, we'll get going on that. I'm just going to give you some music while I sand. So we're sanded. I think we did okay with the sanding with the the tape stuff, the tape residue bits. It seemed to come up pretty fine. Um, so we're ready to put our first coat of lacquer down. I'm gonna do uh, gloss for my build coats, and I might finish with a satin because the satin looks kind of good. Um, 
But yeah, so we're going to go hang this back up in the shed. And uh, I'll mix up some lacquer for it. So I'll bring you back when I'm ready to spray again. Okay, so we're hanging again from the... You really can't tell. It's a very, very bad view, and I'm sorry about that. Um, so it's hanging up again. Um, and we've got here our glorious amber-colored elixir of uh, gloss nitrocellulose lacquer. And we're going to put the first coat on here and wait about an hour and then give it a quick glimpse and following the instructions we're probably going to do three coats maybe um at least two coats for sure maybe more than maybe even more than three coats i'm not sure yet we're going to see how it looks when i get it on there and then i'll probably do a bit of and then i'll probably do a bit here hi hey guys and then i'll probably do a bit of uh satin we'll see i'm leaning towards satin but we'll see how it looks glossy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do satin. Chances are very good I'll do satin. Um, but I want to build first with gloss. Um, so that is what I shall do. And yeah, here we go. I'm going to put on all the freaking the mask. And I'm going to get my respirator on and we'll get it going. Fill up the gun and get it going. All right, here we go. Okay, so the CNC was running while I did that last bit of sanding, but that was first coat dry after an hour of lack of the first coat of gloss um, dry after an hour, sanded with 320. It's back in the booth now. I'm going to do another coat, and this one will dry for at least a couple hours. Um, I'm probably going to let it go overnight because it's 4 o'clock now, and I'm not going to want to do it later. So we're doing the second coat of gloss right now um, it looks really nice the walnut looks good um, it's going to continue to get better and better as the finish builds so i'll probably do a third coat tomorrow we'll see um, so that's where we are so far um, yeah <laughs> let me fill up the gun again put on all the gear and then i'll bring it back when i spray again i don't think that there's much good footage of this but i'm keeping it until i get it into the editing so I apologize if there's not much to see after I get done with all the editing um, anyway we're gonna get after it okay so uh, I'm about to edit this footage. It's Friday afternoon, so I'm trying to get a video for you guys um, tomorrow. So I'm sort of not quite done yet, but I wanted to show you where we are so far. This is two coats of gloss now, so over the sanding sealer. So it is shiny, but I don't know if you'll be able to catch what's up here. It's not even yet. It's got a ways to go. So I have a few more coats to do. It's worse on the front, actually. See around these edges here? There's right uh, right there and then over here it isn't it isn't even over here it's a little splotchy so definitely need more coats I'm not sure how many so uh, the back of the neck looks really good but the rest I've, I swear this lacquer is really tolerant because I just thought I was I thought for sure after that second coat I was gonna get some runs but I didn't I had no runs nothing to sand out it it laid down really nice so um, despite being vertical and everything. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
pile on more coats. I'm not going to bother to film that because I don't think you can even see what I'm doing anyway. So I'm just going to pile on the coats until I'm done with the gloss. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to shoot that footage next week so you'll have a video next Saturday. So this thing, it's coming along. It's getting there. The finishing process is taking a little time. Your patience in this process is appreciated. Thank you for those of you who are patient. Um, and sticking with me on this. So, yeah, I may or may not level it. I think I might. I don't know. Um, and I will probably go with a satin at the end. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the glossy, but the walnut's looking really good, and it's only going to start looking better at this point. So, yeah, so here's your video for the week. Hopefully that's enough footage. I think I got enough coverage in there, but we'll see you next week. I'm going to try really hard to keep on a weekly schedule again. I'm really working on that. I want to get this thing done. So uh, thank you and get after it.